Hey guys, it's Neil from The Verge. I'm here with the new Google Home Hub. It's a new Google Home product. It's got this seven inch display in the front. First thing I'm gonna tell you is it's really small. It's a seven inch display, but it's a lot smaller than you would expect. It comes in four colors, uh, white, black, pink, this really cool blue that I've got here. Uh, it's really cute, it's got front firing speakers. Um, and if you just tap on it, you'll see there's not really like an interface or a home screen. It's just a list of actions you can take and you can obviously talk to Google Assistant. And the big feature is if you swipe down, you get the control center for your home. It's called Home View. And you can just go into rooms. I can turn the lights off in here. I can tap on the rooms. Here we are in the bedroom. I can swipe back, swipe down again. I can pick the lights. It's integrated with the Hue lights in this room, so I can set the brightness, I can change the color. If you're using a different kind of lights, like LithX lights, it would actually show you all the color options. This all just gets set up in the Google Home app, uh, but this is kind of the big feature, is this home view where you can control your entire smart home in here. There's a Nest thermostat over there, I can obviously screw with that. Um, I can also, obviously it's Google Assistant, I can just cast videos using it, so I can say, hey Google, play the Pixel 2 review from The Verge on the bedroom TV. All right, playing the Pixel 2 review from The Verge from YouTube on Bedroom TV. Well, look at that. It's Great. The Pixel 2. Obviously, a big problem with smart speakers is discoverability. So if you just swipe over, you can see explore more things for an assistant to do. This is pretty neat. Like the Echo Show and other smart displays like this don't really do this. So you can say control lighting, you can tap on it. It'll show you all the things you can say, but then you can also just hit the button and do it. So you get kind of a touch interface for your home and other things Google Assistant can do. The Google Home Hub also has something called Ambient EQ, which is basically a light sensor. You can see here, we have a print photo on the left. We have the Home Hub on the right. As the light changes color, you can see the display on the Home Hub changes to look exactly like the print photo reflecting the light. That's pretty cool. It's very similar to other uh, ambient light technologies we've seen, particularly on the iPhone with True Tone. But here it's called Ambient EQ. It's on the Google Home Hub. Two other things uh, I can't show you. One, because it's actually not here. There's no camera on the Home Hub. Google says they didn't add a camera because they want you to be able to put it in your bedroom and other private areas without worrying about it. That's a big decision. It's very different than the Echo Show or the Facebook portal that just came out. There's also parental controls, which I can't show you because you have to set them up in the app, but you can lock this out. You can set up Do Not Disturb, and there's a mode where it won't even respond to you uh, during downtime, which is pretty cool. The Home Hub can also integrate with video doorbells. Here, when you ring the Nest doorbell, you can see the video pop up on the Home Hub right away. And you can also talk back to the person waiting at you. Google Home Hub is $149, a super aggressive price, a great price actually. Comes out October 27 at retail. You can pre-order it right now.